Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a birthday get ready with me video. Um, it's just me on my birthday getting ready. Pretty self-explanatory. But it's got a little twist, you know, the quarantine. So I'm not really getting ready to do anything. Um, but I thought while I have time, while we all have time, might as well film. Might as well film me getting ready. So that's what I did today. Um, as always, I'll have everything that I use linked in the description box for you guys. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Hannah. I post um, plus size fashion, beauty, lifestyle videos on my channel. With the quarantine going on, I'm gonna have a lot more time on my hands to be filming, so if you want to see more things from me, subscribe. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get right on into the video. So I am filming this on my actual birthday, March 24th. Turning 23 today, Jordan year. I have my little birthday girl headband on. And I actually think I'm going to start with my eyes today. So I do already have my eyes primed and my eyebrows done. I'll have what I use for that linked down below. I'm just going to take a little bit of vitamin E oil. Put that on my lips before I start. So I'm actually going to go in with my James Charles Morphe palette. So I am first going to go in with canvas all over my eye just to set, just to set the concealer that I used. And now I think I'm going to go in with Tune and just like throw that in the crease very lightly. It's just that large yellowish nude shade in the palette. Just like lightly to make a transition. So as we all know because of the news, the COVID-19 coronavirus, whatever you want to call it, really throwing a wrench in my spring plans like it really ruined my birthday um my boyfriend's actually visiting if you guys have watched my channel freaking hair in my mouth if you guys have watched my channel for a few years now you know um my boyfriend and I date long distance and he was he was here for my birthday um, first time in the seven years we've been dating he's ever been able to visit for my birthday. We can't do anything. We had like hotel reservations, we were gonna go out of town, can't do anything. So now we're just hanging out at my house and it's actually really boring. I mean don't get me wrong, I'm, act I'm really happy that he's here and we still get to spend time together and we get to be quarantined together. But it really has made it hard to do anything we've planned. But who am I to complain? That's such like a first world complaint. People are dying. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Punch Me just to kind of like deepen up the crease. It's like still a really light brown shade. It probably looks like I have absolutely nothing on my eyes right now. Yeah, so my quarantine day consists of doing my makeup, um, going to take some pictures on my driveway, possibly my backyard if I'm feeling crazy, and ordering from my favorite restaurant to have at home since we can't go out. And honestly, that sounds like a pretty good day. I don't usually do much for my birthday anyways. So this is really how I would be spending it. So now we're going to deepen up the shade a little bit. Um, I have a AOA Studio E136 brush. It's just like a little 
thinner of a like blending brush and I'm going to go in with the shade T which is just like a really pretty mocha brown shade just to again deepen up the color I don't want to take too much of it because again like I said I don't want it to be too much on the eyes just want it to be like very blown out neutrals nothing crazy I work at a hotel and I got laid off until June so like I'm laid off from the fact that I'm not getting paid for the next 90 days but once the hotel opens back up I have a job again so that's kind of annoying but again it could be worse I could be completely out of a job but yeah, I just really haven't been having like the best of news in the past couple weeks. <laughs> One thing I have really been loving though is TikTok. I've talked about this before. I love me some TikTok. I'll have my TikTok link down below for you guys. You can check it out. Another thing. So my brother turns 21 this year at like the end of the week. Yes, we have very close birthdays. But he can't go out because nothing's open so we're, we're making a club here at the house for him which I think will be cool I'll put it on my Instagram if anyone wants to see what that looks like my Instagram will be here on the screen for you okay well, so I think that's enough of that it's pretty much as good as I want it to be and then really just to top it off, I'm going to take that tune color again and just kind of run that on the lid. Now we're going to prime the skin and I'm going to be using my Dior, what is this, Dior Backstage Primer. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on the back of my hand, just rub that in. I do really like this primer. It's kind of gross that I like it so much though because it's so expensive. But it is an actually a really nice primer. I haven't sat down and filmed a video in a really long time. Just because I've been super busy. But now that I have no job. I have nothing to occupy my time with. So if you guys have any video suggestions or... Like, if you want to see a video with my boyfriend while he's here, answering questions about um, dating long distance. Like, we've been dating long distance for, like, seven years now. I've had him on my channel a few times. Um, he doesn't like it, but I'll make him do it. Or any fashion videos, because I know you guys really like my um, hauls and lookbooks and stuff like that so yeah leave me any suggestions you have down below because this is all I'll have for the next 90 days. <laughs> now for my foundation this has been like my all-time favorite for the past few months it's the pretty ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, tinted moisturizer. Now I like I don't even feel like calling this just a tinted moisturizer does it enough justice. It is so buildable. Like, I can make this full coverage and it just sits on the skin so nicely. That I just think it is, like, the most perfect thing. Like, it looks so natural, but covers so well. Oh, and then I'm just using the Sephora 95... Mm, Sephora 95 brush. It's like the Pro Diffuser brush. I'm pretty sure they're redoing all their brushes. Um, because these were like 90% off. Since I used to work at Sephora. Like I worked there seasonally. So when I was working there, they were 50% off. And then you got your staff discount on top of it. So they were like 90% off. And I've got so many of them. They're, they're actually really nice brushes. But they are really expensive. Like, if they're not on sale. And my, like, go-to brush is, like, a Shop Miss A brush, so. 
Does any so like I've done a couple Shop Miss A videos in like the past, and I didn't know it wasn't a thing that people knew about. And I'm not trying to sound like oh like it's so underground. Blah, blah, blah. And I just really didn't know. Like I really because. I guess because I watch a lot of beauty YouTube, like, I thought people knew about Shop Miss A. Like, if you don't, it's a website where everything is a dollar. And the items on there are honestly really good. Rarely am I, like, unhappy, especially, like, beauty tools. Their brushes and headbands, they have, like, reusable bags, like, stuff like that, that, like, you always end up needing but don't want to spend money like on like at Target like a reusable bags like eight bucks just buy it on when you can just buy it on like shop miss a or something for a dollar I find that website really handy for stuff like that but then there's a TikTok that blew up about shop miss a to the point where they like put on their Instagram like due to a viral TikTok like our orders are backed up a couple weeks, which I found shocking that people didn't already know about it. But it definitely has made it hard for me to get the things I want. Miss Shot Miss A's lashes, those are really nice. So you see what I mean? Like, it's just so natural and it looks so nice. Like, it just looks like my skin. But like nothing's peeking through, like in a normal tinted moisturizer. I just think it's so nice. And then honestly, I think I'm just gonna do the one layer. As you can see, like, if I zoomed you in, like you could see there's still like some scarring on my cheek here that you can see I do have a few pimples down here. But I am going to go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer which uh, is actually a lot thicker than the Tinted Moisturizer. It's a lot more coverage to it. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that under my eyes. Oh, I didn't mention, but if anyone wants to know what color I'm in, for the Tinted Moisturizer, I have it in light 6W. And then for the concealer, I have it in fair 20N. Yeah. Now, I do think this concealer is a bit too light for me. Um, for more like natural days, like days that I'm not trying to like highlight my face. But I had slim pickings at my Ulta when I went to go get this, so we make do. And then I'm just using this sponge that I got in my BoxyCharm. I like can't think of the name of it, but I'll have all the products I used down below. But I do actually really like it. I'm not the biggest fan of the normal beauty blender, like beauty blender brand. I think just personally you can find ones better at a cheaper price. I just think this foundation and concealer are the most perfect thing. So what have you guys all been up to? Like, are you in school? I mean, I know schools are like closed or like are online only indefinitely, but like, what are you guys doing in this quarantine? What have you been doing to keep yourself busy? Luke and I went and bought puzzles and um, like arts and crafts stuff. I'm gonna do some like cloth clothing fl spit. I'm gonna do some like clothing flips out of clothes that I already own. So like if you wanna see a video on that, let me know down below. But yeah, what have you guys been doing to keep yourself busy? Okay, so my SD card just filled up. So I'm sorry if it looks different. And I really don't know where I left off with what I was saying, but just let me know down below what you guys have been doing for the quarantine. I feel like I'm like talking about it like it's like a holiday. Like I love the people on YouTube that are doing like quarantine mess, like vlogmas. Oh my god, like I said, I feel like it's like very hypocritical because 
this is serious and like social distancing and quarantining yourself is very serious so that we can stop the spike and kind of lull people getting sick but I just think I love seeing people's creativity and like what they've been doing like like I've been saying TikToks have been really what's been getting me through it these some people are just so funny like making the club in your house was a TikTok that I saw that these parents like made a club in their garage for their son for his 21st birthday since he couldn't go out people's creativity really just blows my mind sometimes because I feel like I'm not very creative when it comes to things like that. So I definitely look significantly pale, but I think that's good. I think I've built up my concealer to where I like it. And now we're gonna go in with a little bit of cream bronzer. This is just the Milk Makeup Baked Cream Bronzer. Cream bronzer. Literally the tiniest amount of that. I've been loving cream bronzer and blush for the past few months. Like, um, I'll show you the blush that I'm gonna be using. I got this recently just because I wanted to try just a small one because I didn't know if I'd like the shade of this. And I also have one of the Maybelline like Color Stay cream foundations that I've been using as a cream bronzer that I've been really liking. I think it just gives like such a nice natural finish and like chiseling to your face. And it's not as harsh as a powder bronzer can be. Not don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna use a powder bronzer. But on days definitely where I'm just like putting on some concealer, I'll just put on like a little cream bronzer and cream blush and like call it a day. Now for blush, I've really been liking these Maybelline Cheek Heats. Um, they're a really good dupe for the Glossier Cloud Paints. Now I've been using Cloud Paints only for probably six months or so I got a few over the summer and I have picked up every shade of the cheek heats um, that have come out so far this one is in 25 fuchsia spark so I take like a stippled brush with the product on the back of my hand and just kind of like spread that out I'm gonna do kind of look like a clown right now but I do honestly like a lot of blush this is a bit much but well blended out and I love how I really can't speak I love how cream blush really just like makes you look flushed and almost looks like it like stains your face like it almost looks like you just went out and it was really cold and you have really rosy cheeks from the cold I just really like that or like the more like warm toned ones that almost make you look a little sunburnt. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and powder. I have my Maybelline Fit Me powder, my just like go to, and this dry sponge came in a the kit with this in my Boxy Charm. Again, it's really bothering me that I can't think of it. I'm just gonna bake a little. Bake a little one. That's the biggest like thing of powder I've ever seen. And then honestly, I don't leave it on for very long. I am going to throw on oh, I am going to throw on a little bit of bronzer while I do this. And this is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze and Tantric 102. I'm just gonna take this powder brush here. Bronzer is huge. I'm just. I'm just gonna brush that away. Yeah, take a little bit more bronzer. Now before I finish the rest, oh, okay, I really need to stop knocking everything over. 
before I finish the rest of my face, we're gonna go back into the eyes. So I'm really just going back in with Punch Me and T on the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back in with Punch Me on this fluffier brush. And just smoke this out. And with a much more defined brush, I'm gonna go in with T. I'm just kinda smoke out the outer part of the lower lash line. Sorry, I feel like this is not in focus. Now for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm actually gonna go in with my highlight that I'll be using on my face. And it's the Wet n Wild Blush Highlight Hello Halo Kit in After Sex Glow. And again, I'm just going to take my ring finger, really, just kinda put a little bit of that on the inner corner just to brighten it up. And then just the tiniest bit on my brow bone. And now to finish the eyes off with some mascara, I'm going to be using the Pretty and no Petite and Pretty Full Feathered Volumizing Mascara. I don't really feel like putting on lashes today, so just a good few coats of this on the eyes will be good. And now the wand for that I feel is a little too big for my lower lashes. So going in with my lower lashes, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. I'm just doing a light coat of that on the lower lashes. All right. Now that is the eyes done. Again, like I said, super natural, like nothing too crazy. Almost a little 90s, just like neutral, smoked out, nothing harsh. It's just kind of the vibe I'm going for today. Now, I am going to set my brows now. I always wait till the end to set my brows after I'm done with my powders. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel first. Also, I really didn't fill in the front of my brows today. Um, let me know if you guys think it looks weird or not, because I can't tell. And then we're going to go in with the Glossier Boy Brow, and this is just the clear one as well. Because this stuff is literally like super glue for your eyebrows. Now I am going to set my blush. I know, I don't really need any more, but I really have been liking this Too Faced Cherry Bomb fruit cocktail blush duo and I just really like this like dark red shade that they have for the blush half and I'm just literally the slightest bit just to top off that blush because yeah I feel like it looks like a lot of blush right now but it never stays I feel like I feel like my blush is like the first thing to fade throughout the day now to set my face I have the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist um, I've been using this for a few weeks now. I actually do really like it. I have had the normal Morphe setting mist in the past, um, but I do enjoy the mattifying one because my skin is a little more oily. So I'm going to put some of that on. Pan that out. I, I try to keep my face like as relaxed as possible. Okay, so before that fully dries, we're gonna do our highlight. As I said, we're doing the Wet n Wild Highlight Duo in After Sex Glow with the gold side here. Just gonna put a little bit of that on. I've been loving this highlight. It's so beautiful. I feel like it just has like the perfect amount of glow. And the price point for these highlights is just amazing. Like Wet n Wild highlights are the best at the drugstore in my opinion. They just look amazing. And then do a little on the nose. I do love a nose highlight. On the upper lip. Now we are really almost done. I'm just going to do my lips. And my favorite lip liner at the moment has been the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in Nude 1. I just feel like it's the perfect nude liner for me. I know some people like when they have like 
foundation on their lips before they put their lip product on, but I hate it. I just think it's like the prettiest nude color. And then for lipstick on top of that, I'm going just to be using a MAC lipstick. It's Viva La Glam 2. Really old lipstick, honestly. Probably shouldn't be using it, but I just like the nude it gives. I like that. Alright, so that is the makeup finished. I am going to go do my hair, get changed into what I'll be taking my pictures in, and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished look. So this is my final look. I will leave my outfit and some of the pictures that I took here on the screen at the end of the video. Yeah, so that's pretty much what my plans are for today. Happy birthday to me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos from me. As always, please leave me your video recommendations down below in the comments section. I love hearing what you guys have to say, trying the things out that you guys enjoy. So let me know, as I mentioned, I have a lot of free time on my hands for the next few months. So I want to be putting out what you guys want to see. If you're not already following me on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, it'll all be down below for you guys. Go ahead and check it out. Um, I'll have it here on screen for you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Love you all so much. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Bye.